many of us know, Michael Jordan is a pretty well-known sports figure. In fact, he's known as arguably the greatest basketball player of all time. Sorry, Brian Scalabrini, but it's really more than that which makes him a worldwide phenomenon. Things like propelling the NBA into a global brand, launching Air Jordans with Nike, some off-court troubles, and taking a break from the sport when he was at his prime only to come back and dominate. I mean, what an incredible ride, am I right? Well, today we're talking about another athlete who's had a surprisingly similar trajectory. The sport, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The man, Gordon Ryan. I know it's pretty bold to compare him to MJ. <laughs> Not that MJ. Although he was the king of pop, and Ryan's moniker in the world of BJJ is the king. Plus he's got the resume to prove it, and he's my best friend. I'm Nick the Ear, you're watching In the Red Corner, and today we're gonna discuss why Gordon Ryan is the Michael Jordan of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This is Oosh. To understand the rise of Gordon Ryan, we need to look back at his early years. Born and raised in Monroe Township, New Jersey, Ryan's introduction to combat sports came as many of us did, with his older brother kicking the shit out of him. Stop it, get some help. At the age of 15, Ryan began training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under the guidance of Tom DeBlas, a respected BJJ black belt and MMA fighter. DeBlas recognized Ryan's talent and began taking him to Henzo Gracie's gym in New York for more advanced study. This is where he met his now mentor and longtime coach, John Danaher. And if you're not familiar with Danaher, most people describe him as a lighthearted, effervescent, and honestly, a silly goose kind of guy. 95% of your life was a waste of time. And that was his SNL audition. It seems like Lorne Michaels really missed out. But seriously, he's one of the greatest minds and coaches in martial arts. He developed a systematic and methodical approach to leg locks, which was out of vogue at the time until his protege and his team started winning tournaments using this very method. Can you guess who that was? No, not Brian Scalabrini, this guy. Not Brian Scalabrini. I know what you're thinking. What does this have to do with Michael Jordan? And why is this poorly constructed comparison video even still going? Is it for the algorithm or something? But stay tuned and you're gonna find out. When Michael Jordan was playing, basketball. He was the most dominant player in the league by far. Six-time NBA champion, six-time finals MVP, five-time most valuable player, 14-time NBA All-Star, and still currently holds the record for career regular season scoring average and career playoff scoring average. I mean, he's the GOAT, right? Now, Gordon Ryan, he's pretty good too. Boss ass. You know. Five-time ADCC world champion, two-time IBJJF no gi world champion, and four-time Eddie Bravo invitational champion. With 54 consecutive victories and a record-breaking 82% submission rate, he's considered the greatest pound-for-pound -pound no gi grappler of all time. And it might be one of those things where you have to see it to believe it. If you pull up Gordon Ryan's record, you'll see an incredible string of wins. But I'd like to point out a particularly impressive run at the 2022 ADCC World Championships, which is basically the Olympics of grappling. In a span of two days, Ryan defeated four of the world's top grapplers to become the 99 kilo division champion. He didn't just beat the competition, he dominated them. Just like how the pink Power Ranger dominated my dream. But he didn't just stop there. He had a super fight on the same day with the legend himself, Andre Galvao. And let's just say, if Gordon Ryan is MJ, Andre Galvao, he's Magic Johnson. I mean, look at those smiles. And let's just say there were fireworks leading up to the fight. But we will get to that later. So it was a clash of titans. Super giant buff sweaty titans. He's getting closer. He's getting closer, like an anaconda, That's and he tap. gets the submission. He gets the tap out, he wins the belt, and everything he had to do to get here was super easy. Wait, just kidding. In 2018 to 2019, Ryan developed a fungal overgrowth as a side effect from taking antibiotics to treat his repeated staph infections. I was taking oral antibiotics, and it just wiped out everything in my stomach, like all the good bacteria, everything. This fungus spread from his intestines and moved into his stomach, causing intense bouts of nausea so much that Ryan had to step away from competition altogether. He retired in 2021. Hmm, seems like I remember someone else retiring from sport while they were on top. Yes, I realized that they retired for different reasons. One for a serious health issue and the other, does anyone know why he decided to play baseball? But when they both returned, Jordan completed his second three-peat and Ryan immediately won the world's most prestigious BJJ competition, ADCC. And he's only 27. That's as many dresses as Katherine Heigl wore in that one movie. 
that I really like. It seems like the world is Gordon Ryan's oyster, but it hasn't always been this way. Being this big, this successful, this competitive, this rich, doesn't come without its share of controversies. Throughout Michael's career, he had his share of bad press, whether it's from gambling problems, snubbing Isaiah Thomas from the Dream Team, or his silence over the Nike's unfair labor practices. It wasn't always a bed of roses, and Gordon Ryan is no different. He has garnered a lot of attention from his stance on steroids, internet beefs, and to the breakup to the Danaher death squad. But one headline that took the internet by storm was the slap heard around the world. No, Brian Scalabrini, that's just your head superimposed on a competitor in Dana White's controversial power slap league. That's a totally different video. I'm talking about this one. My best friend, Gordon Ryan. And that blew up on the internet and the entire BJJ community was watching this closely. I mean, people were doing breakdown for this slap. Even Joe Rogan was talking about it. He pushed you, he called you a pussy, he pushed you, I mean, that's you smacked him in the face twice. I'm sure you're saying, but that stuff happens all the time, Nick. But the truth is, it doesn't. Jiu-Jitsu translates to the gentle art with foundational principles like humility and self-control. This slap session rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. They thought the slap was disrespectful. They thought that they shouldn't be beefing before their fight. But at the end of the day, these two guys are gonna fight each other. This is combat sports. It isn't too dissimilar from, well, this clip. When I foul Steve Kerr, I said, now nah, that's a fucking foul. I have a lot of patience as a human being, but I tend to snap at some point because I'm extremely competitive too. He hauls off and hits me in the chest and I just haul off and hit him right in the eye. But as they say, you gotta break a few eggs to make a fried rice. That's racist. I can totally say that. Because look, being an elite athlete at the top of your sport, you have to have personality, flair, and competitive spirit. And both of these gentlemen have that in abundance. And the fact is, both have left in an indelible mark on their own sport. Jordan brought a spotlight back to the NBA. He became synonymous with not only the league, but the sport. And Gordon Ryan has followed a similar route. Although BJJ is still a growing sport, Ryan has become its biggest face. He's brought new eyes and notoriety to the community and with it, more money. He's been able to leverage his celebrity into closing deals, including signing a huge seven-figure contract with Flow Sports and a lucrative series of instructional DVDs. That's right, DVDs. But before you laugh at the idea of this guy selling discs out of the trunk of his car, take a look at this. Yeah, that's a $999 box set. I would never buy one of those. Jordan's style inspired an entire generation for basketball players. Like without MJ, there is no Kobe, there is no LeBron, and more importantly, there's no Brian Scalabrini. Right, Mama, do okay, White Mamba. <laughs> and Gordon Ryan is doing the same for BJJ. His approach to his physique, mentality, and technical acumen is inspiring the next generation of elite grappling stars. And the truth is, Ryan's story isn't over. He's only 27. He's not even close to his prime. We're already calling him the greatest grappler ever. Imagine what he could do in the next 10 years. It's a pretty good statement to say that you're the best ever. Yeah. Is it crazy to say that he might even eclipse Michael Jordan when it's all said and done? I mean, yeah, that is crazy, but who knows? Gordon, Jordan, Jordan, Gordon, the greatest basketball grappler of all time. Look, Gordon Ryan is the Michael Jordan of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Let us know in the comments below if you agree or if you don't. Make sure you smash that like button if you love Brian Scalabrini and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. I'm Nick the Ear and this is Os.